The first alkali metal, lithium, you can see is stored in oil. This is to prevent it from reacting with oxygen from the air. I will remove a piece of the lithium with some forceps. Now lithium is a very soft metal, so it can be cut with a knife. But before I cut it, it's important I dry the lithium to remove all of the oil. You should not touch lithium with your hands as it will react with the water on your hands. You can see it's very soft as I'm cutting it with a knife. Now, after I cut the lithium, you can see this part, the lithium, has not yet reacted with the oxygen in the air, so it is very shiny, the scientific word being lustrous. I will now take this lithium and add it to the water. We can see the lithium floats. This means it is less dense than water. We can also see bubbles and hear fizzing. This is producing a hydrogen gas. The lithium moves around the surface of the water until it has completely reacted with it. At this point, it is completely dissolved in the water. The color of the water has changed as it now contains lithium hydroxide. Our next alkali metal is sodium. Sodium is also stored in oil as it reacts with the oxygen in the air. As you can see, it, some of it does have some luster to it, some shine, but some of it is quite dull due to being exposed to small amounts of oxygen. I'll remove a piece of sodium with my forceps. Now I will dry this so that the oil gets off of it. Sodium is also a very soft metal. As you see, I can cut it with a knife. After I cut it, you can see that there is a metallic luster as it has not yet reacted with the oxygen in the air. I will then take this sodium and put it into the water. The sodium reacts more vigorously than the lithium. We can see it's moving around faster. It's also fizzing more. That means it's making hydrogen gas at a faster rate. Our next alkali metal is potassium. Like all other alkali metals, it is stored in oil so that it doesn't react with the oxygen from the air. I will use my forceps to take a piece of potassium out of its container. Now I'll dry it using paper towel so that the oil, to get all of the oil off of it. As you can see, potassium is also very soft. It can easily be cut or even shaped with a knife. After being cut, you can see it has some metallic luster, but it has reacted with the air quite quickly. Now putting potassium into the water. As you can see, it makes a lilac colored flame and reacts very quickly. It also produces hydrogen gas, just like the other alkali metals. Potassium was so reactive with the water that it caused the hydrogen gas produced to catch fire and give a lilac colored flame. When we react alkali metals with water, they always produce a metal hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Now, they are called alkali metals because they make an alkaline solution. I'm going to take a small beaker and fill it 
with the liquid that I reacted my alkali metals in. So this liquid will contain sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, and lithium hydroxide. We'll now put the universal indicator into the small amount of liquid I collected. As you can see, it turns purple. Now when we match this to our pH chart, it has a pH of around 12, meaning it is an alkaline solution.